it did it to? Um, yeah. See, the thing is, going into it at first, I was just going to kind of sit and kick, and then we realized that I kind of needed the standard, <laughs> and it was 935, so I was supposed to be clicking off, like, 76s, 77s, and I think what happened was I was on for most of it, but I must have done, like, the first and last laps, maybe, like, a little too fast, but I felt awesome. Still got a workout, and I feel I just feel really good. I'm really excited, and uh, I got to say, I'm kind of glad it ended up being a little bit faster, because now going into it, I'm like, you know, two seconds per lap faster gets me to nine minutes. Like, you know, that's pretty good. So well, maybe you and Alberto decide to run the 3,000 instead of 1,500. Um, a couple reasons. One, I know internationally the 15 and 3K are both really strong events, but I personally felt I'd be a little bit more challenged in the 3K because it's not as strong. Like, I'm not as familiar with it because I don't race it as often. So I thought it'd be kind of fun to mix it up and like at a really hard effort. And also, it's kind of nicer since there's no heats and like finals. So I think therefore it'll be probably a little bit faster than the 15 will. And also I can kind of train through it and not have to feel like I super have to peak for it. So, you know, really the goal is still August. And so this is just like a really kind of fun way to like keep in shape until then, you know. We don't have like Commonwealth or Europeans, so it kind of gives me the chance to run well kind of like in that awkward block of time that most people don't get to race, so. <laughs> so looking ahead to the world, Junior. Yeah. Is there going to be Kenyans and Ethiopians? Is that what you think? I, yeah, or I assume you, so. What do you think of that? Um, you know, I've already seen, they already released the Ethiopian team, and there's one girl who ran uh, 841. She came in third a couple of years ago, and so you think about it is at first I was like, oh, geez, and then I got really excited because the thing is, I don't think we're going to run 841 pace the whole way. I think it'll be more of a sit and kick. It'll give me a really good chance to, you know, continue to practice how to compete. Um, I actually know the girl. She came in third two years ago when I was racing. I think she did well last year. And it's funny. I was looking at it. She has the same birthday as me. We're both May third. Like I was like, <laughs> I'm like, you copied me. No, so, so you know, I'm excited to see how it goes. I don't think they released the Kenyan team, but um, you know, I wasn't. You know, the thing about me is I don't shy away from competition. I wasn't doing this to like take a break or anything, I, I think it'll be a really good field in that 3K, and that's why I'm going for it. You're, you're definitely going to run it in the world. Yeah, yeah, I am going to run it, yes. <laughs> now, you haven't really run against your peers for a while. You know, you've yeah. been racing higher-level competition, I think, ever since uh, the end of maybe your sophomore cross-country year, was it? Um, it was my yes, junior, I did a little bit of cross-country, but in a way, the yeah. last time I really stopped was two years ago to this meet, in a way. Yeah. So, uh, it's kind of weird being yeah, back. It's kind of interesting going back to the racing against you know, your own age again basically definitely it was actually kind of fun I mean I had so much fun like running with Stephanie because she you know one thing I love about high schoolers is they go for it there's none of this like oh hey let's run a six minute mile like I did <laughs> um you know they, they like they jump in and they try to chase you and so I had a really good time running that you it was, it was yeah <laughs> <laughs> that's so nice beforehand she was so sweet and I was like I hope I'm like you know I, you know, because I haven't been, like, in the high school circuit for a while until, like, you know, oh, my gosh, I must have been the most annoying kid when I was on the high school one because I'd be, like, talking everybody up beforehand. And, like, now that I'm with the pros, I kind of know, like, you kind of, like, don't talk to people. Like, you kind of awkwardly sit in your corner like that. So, like, everybody was talking beforehand, and I was like, I missed this. So, <laughs> yeah. Mary, what's the plan for August? What meets are you targeting? Um, really, those kind of, I think on the 21st is um, Stockholm, and then the 28th is Zurich. And I'm going to kind of play things by year, you know, I have to go to school at some point. But um, <laughs> I'll probably miss the first couple weeks of school, awkward. But, um, you know, and then maybe like a little bit before that, sometimes they have fast races, like elsewhere in Europe that aren't technical Diamond League. So, you know, I'm really excited. I mean, today I was watching the Paris Diamond League, of course, uh, Shannon or 359. Jenny in her 357, and um, it's exciting for me. Yeah, she ran a 357. <laughs> and, um, you know, the thing is, like, you know, for me, I'm the type of person who I actually get really excited when people are running fast because I can't slack off now. If I want to be the top American, I have to run 356, guys. Come on, I got to get on this. <laughs> yeah, good luck with that. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Right outside of eating cookies. What else? Oh. They gave that to me. They're like, here you go. And I was like, don't tell Alberta. He might be standing right up there. Uh, no, he's not here today. It's oh, okay. Uh, I'm good. <laughs> no workout then. No, I still got one. <laughs> yeah. So to what extent will your workouts be geared then towards 3,000? You know, both get, considering the fact that you're you know, running out of Bennett World, but also that you're you know, shooting for shorter, you know, 1,500 later in the year. Does it kind of, kind of be a mix of things for both events? Um, the thing about 
our training is we kind of we do so much strength, we do so much speed. So it's not really going to be changed at all. I still got to work on that kick. I got to still work on that strength. So the thing about it is the jump from 15 to 3K really isn't that much. So, um, and think about it, like typically in world, most championships, you have to run the 15 one day, 15 two days later. So kind of end up anyway running a 3K. So I think for me, it's not really going to change. I need to work on my strength. I need to work on my speed. Just fine tune everything and then I'll be ready to go. Have you talked at all about a time you'd like to run for 3K? I mean, if it was a fast race and an 840, 850, somewhere in there? Uh, yeah, I mean, if it's a fast race, I'm ready to go. Um, I think I could throw a wrench into the works, really kind of whatever pace. If it's a sit and kick, perfect. If it's a fast race, perfect too. So um, I'm just kind of excited to see what I can do and hopefully, you know, compete as well as I can against some really top girls. So.